Hi, I'm Justin Frickte with Millborn Seeds. So we're doing a little bit of a follow-up video to our mycorrhiza fungi test. So this is a pretty non-scientific test that we've done. Uh, in the first video we just showed you applying it to three sorghum seeds and not applying it to those three sorghum seeds. And then now we're just monitoring the differences. We've been watering them the exactly the same. They've been outside together their entire lives. Um, so really there's not a lot of variation in terms of how these have been growing other than the fact that the one on my right has been treated with the mycorrhizal fungi. I am extremely surprised on how big of a difference we're seeing. Now if you just looked at them, uh, at the plants alone, obviously there's not a whole lot of difference in terms of height, but you take a look at these root structures that we're starting to see within this uh, glass vase, uh, and it is shocking. All these little root hairs are starting to branch out, and it is just a very fibrous, dense root system that is covering this entire vase, and you take a look at the, the vase that is not treated, and it's pretty bare. Yeah, obviously you'll find you know, the main tap roots with a few little fibrous root hairs branching off of there, but it is, it's nothing compared to this one that has been treated. Plus the one that was treated is, is seeing just a little bit of a thicker stalk. It's got a little more girth to it. And so I'll, in turn, I think that just means it's a healthier plant. So we'll continue to follow up and we'll continue to shoot a few more videos as this progresses and, and we start to see more and more differences. But uh, uh, you know, just on this study alone, I think it's pretty evident what we can do with, uh, with increasing that root mass and, and increasing plant health and drought tolerances of a plant just by applying mycorrhizal fungi. So I'm Justin Frickty and thanks for watching here today.